relative motion and circular motion work together really naturally with rigid bodies. Um, so maybe the most uh, common way to use relative motion is along with circular motion. Um, to represent linkages. Linkages would be a really good name for like a super like overly processed sausage product. <laughs> but uh, in this context, it means a collection of rigid bodies connected by joints that whose movement have a relationship because of those joints. Um, so let me show you an example. Uh, so let's say we have one bar connected to a hinge on the wall, and it has a length of one meter. And at this instant, it makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. And then there's a second bar that also has a length of one meter and also makes an angle of 45 degrees. Um, and let's say this first one, um, is moving with a constant angular velocity that way of 10 radians per second. And the second one is moving, is has an angular velocity that's constant the other way of 10 radians per second. And I'll call these points, the hinge is A, the connection between the two is B. The end of this is C. Um, and say we want to calculate the velocity and acceleration of C. Okay, well, what you have to notice here is um, according to a coordinate system fixed to the ground, The left body is in circular motion around A. Uh, when I say the left, well, um, actually, let me replace this. So. Any point on the left body is in circular motion about A. What we are going to care about here is that that point B, which is a point on that left body, is in circular motion around A. Okay. So is this thing rotating? Is this body rotating? The point is 
According to the graph. They move like an elbow, yeah. So that little dot is supposed to be a pin joint between them. Um, right. Um, and then this is the key thing that's not as obvious when you first look at it, because that's pretty obvious, right? That point B is, if that bar is moving, that point B is just moving in a circle around A. But according to a coordinate system that moves with B, to B, you know, that coordinate system is moving. The point C is in circular motion around B. Uh, circular motion around, this one should say A, this one should say B. So we can set this up as the velocity. So the relative motion equation says the velocity of that point C relative to the ground is equal to the velocity of C relative to B plus the velocity of B relative to the ground. This, yeah, those two points, I guess it is. Okay, well, notice that each one of these is a circular motion. Okay, so first let's do the velocity of B relative to the ground. That's omega of the left body crossed with the R vector that goes um, to B. I'll call this RL. Okay. Uh, that's that's an equation I gave last time in class. Uh, what's the angular velocity vector of the left body? Um, the left body is just is the upper arm. Yeah. Right. So we know that it's going counterclockwise at 10 radians per second. What's that as an angular velocity vector? Yeah. So right hand rule. X is that way, Y is that way, Z is out. So right hand rule is this. And so 10 radians per second in the positive Z direction. Um, so 0, 0, 10. And then what's a vector from the center of the circular motion to the point we care about, which is 0.7071, negative 0 0.7071, zero, cosine and sine of negative 45. Um, and that is 7.071. Uh, 7.0710. And now we're going to think about, now we're going to forget about the fact that B is moving for a second. And we're going to think about calculating the velocity of C 
around that point B. So the velocity of C relative to B is equal to the angular velocity vector of the right body crossed with another R vector for the right body. So this time we're going, so here's our B. Here's our C. The circular motion of C has its center at B. So this is the R vector we want. What's the angular velocity vector of the right body? Yep, zero, zero, negative 10, exactly. So use the right hand rule. The sum is pointing in the negative B direction, the magnitude is 10. So we get zero, zero, negative 10 crossed with the components of this R vector are positive 0 0.7071, positive 0 0.7071, zero. And we get 7.071 for X, negative 7.071 for Y, zero for Z. And now we can put this together. We already came up with the relative motion equation we want. So the velocity of C relative to the ground is equal to the velocity of C relative to B plus the velocity of B relative to the ground. And you get a final velocity vector of 14.14 uh, zero meters per second. This here was the velocity of C relative to uh, B. And this was the velocity of B relative to the ground. And so what happens is um, at that instant, as this body is rotating this way, and this body is rotating this way, the, that V shape is flattening out a bit. And the effect is that you have a velocity to the right of that point C and no other components. 